This is a tutorial for Dex Science Set 6.1. Hi, in this video, we are going to build a model to demonstrate the formation of raindrops. The compartment we're going to get our materials from is B6.2.1.2.1. In this compartment, we have some acrylic parts and some aluminum foil that will help us do this interesting activity. Let's go ahead and open it up and see the materials in there. We are going to assemble these parts to create a chamber that will help us demonstrate rainfall. So let's first build a chamber. And to build a chamber is really simple. We're going to assemble our acrylic pieces as follows. Don't forget to place the acrylic piece on a flat surface whilst you do such a connection to prevent it from breaking. This small part here will go to this side. Then, before we put our final part, we want to take these much smaller pieces of acrylic and place them on this other piece of acrylic. After we are done with this, we are going to gently place it on top of our chamber making sure the part with the smaller piece of acrylic goes into the chamber. So this is it. Very simple. We are done constructing our chamber. The next thing we are going to do is to form a small container using aluminum foil that can hold some hot water. So just going to open up aluminum foil, do some dimensioning and form a simple container that can hold some hot water. So we get a ruler and then we are going to measure four centimeters. We're going to measure about four centimeters and fold our aluminum foil at that point. So let's just fold about the point where we approximate will be around our four centimeter mark. And then we go back and measure again to confirm. As we can see, it's a little bit more than four centimeters. So let's go ahead and then fix that. Let's reduce the point where we fold the aluminum foil, just so that it's about the four centimeter mark that we want. nice we're going to go ahead and fold it right there good we'll go ahead and then cut So 
great. So now we are going to open up our aluminum foil. And then we are going to measure again. About 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters. And we are going to cut the foil along that mark. Great. So now that we have this piece of aluminum foil, which is approximately 10 by 8, you're going to fold it up this way. We're going to make some diagonal lines that move from one point to the other. Good. Once we have our diagonal lines, we are now going to fold the foil along those diagonal lines in this way. Fold it up and then you bend it this way. This might be trickier, you might have to try it a few more times before you get it. But you fold it inward and then you fold it this way. Okay, so you fold it inward and then you fold what's left around it inward and then you fold what's left around it. So you end up with a container that looks something like this. But it's a bit messy on the top. And so we're going to take some, we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut it a little bit cleaner. So let's just go ahead and cut that. And don't worry so much about how much you cut. It just shouldn't be too deep. Just cut it such that you still have a container that can hold a little bit of hot water. The whole idea is to make sure that there are no leakages and that water does not escape. So we're going to cut all around it to get ourselves a neat container. That can hold some water. Let's go ahead and give it a little bit of a trim again. Let's make sure all the sides are nice and upright. Make sure it can hold the water. So there you have it. A simple container made of aluminum for that can hold water. Now the next thing we are going to do is that we're going to need the top of our chamber to be a little bit colder. And how do we get it to become cold? good old hand sanitizer we're going to put some hand sanitizer on it and then smear it over the surface now as the alcohol evaporates it's going to cool down the surface and although plastic is generally a poor conductor of heat at least with this we're going to get a little bit of cold on the surface of our chamber we're going to pour some hot water gently into our container our aluminum foil container and then we're going to place our chamber on top of it and immediately you do it you're going to start observing some water droplets forming on the surface because of the temperature difference between the surface of the plastic and the water vapor that is rising and raindrops are formed in a similar fashion. The sun evaporates some water on the surface and as it goes up, it condenses, it forms clouds as it combines with other particles and eventually this water which rose as vapor comes back down as raindrops. As you can see, the water which is evaporating is forming some water droplets on the surface. This is another very simple but interesting activity. We perform this activity using the deck sign set 6.1. See you in the next video.